Kelly Logging has developed an innovative machine that's designed to safely harvest trees from steep slopes while having minimal impact on the environment. Fifth generation logger and managing director Nigel Kelly has worked with engineering firms in Nelson over the past five years to develop a machine they call Climax. My great grandfather, he was a logger. My grandfather, he was a logger and they're all contractors. My father, he was a native logger and a pine logger. He was a contractor. Then I become a logger and a contractor. And then my son Nigel, he's also um, taken over from me and he's become a contractor. So all the Kelly family in the Kelly Long are all contractors and employed people. I remember back as a young fellow working with my father with two horses and pulling cross cuts and then work my way up through the ranks as years have gone by and see that technology, what's out there, it's just unbelievable. It's all for the better, uh, for safety. I wouldn't have dreamt in my wildest dreams to see a machine like that on, on, on such steep slopes as what they can work on. It's just incredible. We've got two Climax machines operating. One works in our business and out of the business, about 50-50, and another one works entirely on a subcontractor basis, either on a unit cost and or by the air. The background behind the Climax project was, it really was birthed out of the fact that as a logging business, we weren't very versatile. We're a cable logging business uh, by trade. That's, our, that's where our bread and butter comes from, which was sort of one dimensional. We had three issues really. One was the need for getting men off the ground and falling tasks, breaking out tasks, which was hooking the logs onto the yard. We also wanted to increase our flexibility of operation because cable yarders really can only do one type of harvesting, so we wanted to look at making us more versatile and thirdly was an increased productivity. So by solving the other two problems we actually increased productivity and that was, that was a spin-off. It's been a massive project beyond comprehension for a business of our size. Our business is a family business. When my father owned it we still were very innovative looking at ways of making the job safer, increasing productivity, all those types of things. I've really just taken that to the next step and morphed that into something that was a lot larger. When we took over the business, we were still investing about 15 to 20 percent of our gross turnover in R&D type products. This is only one of them. We've done a number of different units over the years. So developing the Climax project, it was a project that involved a lot of outside parties. You know, involved WorkSafe, involved forest owners, involved the contractor workforce, you know, the manufacturing company, the policies, you know, guidelines for operating the machine in certain circumstances. Areas that I knew nothing about, or very little about, now we know them in depth. Oh, we've got a commercial product. It's, uh, it's out there, it's been commercialised. We've sold uh, now two machines offshore. Uh, we've had one sold into, the, into the North Island out of, out of Napier, and I'm running two machines myself. And we also built a prototype machine. We did a lot of research to find out which machine we thought was the best sort of size machine to start with. You know, traditionally it was a 25, 30 tonne type style machine, but we sort of looked at the few things and what we're trying to do and achieve and what's the best, fast way to do it. So we actually started with a 40 tonne machine. And from there we sort of landed on a, a machine size, so we got one in and we started basically, basically building that. So we, when we get a machine in, it's just a standard excavator. We pull it apart. We just take the top off, put the top over there, we've got our tracks and the centrepiece, so we cut the centrepiece out, build a whole new centrepiece that incorporates the winch, the blade and all the interiors going up through. We put it back together, we do a little underbody plating, build a bonnet, we move a lot of stuff around inside the engine bay, we dry sump the engine, build a purpose-built hydraulic tank which has about 800 litres of oil in it for cooling as well as just so it can work well on steep slopes. We've got our own cab. We got to the stage when we were putting it together, we were initially planning on using the standard boom and arm on one of these machines, but it was going to be too heavy. Uh, we had a target weight we were trying to get to about 42 tonne, and that's purely based on transport issues, so it can be easily moved around without extra pilots. The biggest thing was weight. Don't want weight, <laughs> but we need to be strong, we need to have reach, we need to have a riffing. So it was just getting all that weight out of it and getting it into the right place, getting it down as low as we can so we can have these things, they'll sit at 45 degrees, which is their max we say they can go to, they'll sit there, don't need the winch, 
it'll just sit there, do its work. And the winch rope's only there for tractive purposes to help it get back up that hill. And it'll just happily sit there and, and that's what we're trying to achieve at the end of the day. This is a great demonstration of exactly what we use it for here. This is a job which has been designated as a skyline yarder block. So conventional ground base guys come in, put the road in skid in, and the and skyline hauler will come in and do the areas that they can't reach. So here, we're actually turning this block into a ground base block that was designated for hauler. So it's fantastic, this is exactly what we use it for. 10 years ago, or even five years ago, prior to getting to the stage where we are now, we would have either had a, yard, a, a log yarder down here with a pole, guy ropes, uh, working on landing down here, pulling this wood downhill, and or we would have had to put a big road all the way up the top to get log trucks to the top of the hill and put a yarder up the top and pulled the wood all the way to the top, cut it to length for the customer, and then log trucked it all the way out. We would have had more men in this operation than what's here today. A Skyline yard is going to have 10 to 12 men, depending on their configuration and how they're processing the logs and a ground-based operation like this one here, which is a skitter operation, they might have seven or eight here. The key part of the innovation here on how the Climax works is the integration for the winch integrated into the traction of the machine. So the operator doesn't actually concentrate on how hard the winch is pulling, what the tracks are doing, am I getting maximum traction or not. The two work seamlessly together to maximise the traction of the machine. As we've developed the technology, that advancement's got better and better to the point where CMX4, which is this machine, is, is a lot fine-tuned technology than what we've got on Climax 1. This program was made with funding from New Zealand On Air.